Okay. Lock the nut on it. Put that into your haul system or on the winch hook on the helicopter. When this is hoisted, notice the head comes up first, which is the desirable way. Okay. Also notice that these slings go clear under the litter and they won't come loose. The way that it's designed, it can't slip on you. We've dropped uh, 400 pounds, eight feet on a steel cable and we're not able to damage those slots. So uh, there's no way this is gonna slip on you, okay? Okay, now we're talking about doing a, uh, a hoist in the vertical position. Let me tighten the strap up again. Now in the vertical position, this gives you a little bit of protection from the small objects that might fall. Uh, if you don't like the guy, leave it open. I mean, it's great. But uh, for me, I don't like the liability. So I'm gonna protect his head and cover my behind. So. Now, we'll start out, we'll lace this rope down through the grommets. We can start through here or we can start down here. It depends on the situation. Uh, our instructions will show it through here. We'll bring that down to where that knot is about a foot or so away from the head end. Then we'll go through the handle. We want every bit we can get for safety. If anything ever came apart, we've got more stuff to, to catch it so it won't, uh, won't go to, you know, send him down to a screaming bloody death. Uh, place it through everything. There's two holes down here. You bring the rope down through the foot end. Do the same on the other side. Make sure this is in the center. again and out through the grommet at the foot in. Okay, at this point, we're going to tie these two ropes into a square knot. That's the only knot time a square knot is ever indicated in rescue. Uh, all it does is keep these two ropes together to make a sling on them. Okay, now that's going to support him under the feet. But if he had a spinal injury, we're not going to have him standing up as we're, as we're doing that. We're going to have a harness on him and we're going to put his weight on that harness and we're going to lower him on that and the sked isn't going to be lifting all of his weight. Okay, then we'll bring this in from the outside of the handles inward, tighten it up. Our instructions show a square knot with two half hitches safety off here. Uh, it's a safe enough knot, but what that means is you can't tie knots, tie lots, okay? But I like double fisherman's knot which is the strongest knot for this type of application. Okay. Tuck the two ends down inside out of the way. And now you're going to notice one other thing. Especially if there's no backboard in here, when you lift this up, you don't want to lift it from the supine position, because what happens? See what happens here? It's not exactly desirable. Well, the solution is, can I get somebody to give me a hand here? Turn this around so we can see it. Okay. If you grab a handle here, you grab here. Okay? Lift it up. Okay, from this point, we're going to take the carabiner. We don't put that carabiner on there until after we lift it up because if it flips over the top end, it's going to catch him in the face and he ain't going to like you. So now we'll flip this in up here, flip that on our haul system or lowering system or winch hook on the helicopter, which you, I doubt that you'll ever hoist it this way in a helicopter, but coming over a cliff, this is the 
position it would be in. Okay, now, if you want to hold that, uh, we'll get it stable first, right? Let me go. In fact, why don't I get one more person? I want to turn this one second, brother. Can I get you to hold this uh, right in this area? Just make sure he doesn't fall over. Uh, now, if, I, if you're going to send a litter attendant over with the litter in this position, what I would do, I'd have a lanyard or something from here clipped in up here where this uh, other carabiner is also. Okay, and then I would be standing here facing him, and I'd be able to see everything that's going on. Okay, I could monitor the patient as I go down, and holding onto these two straps, I can get, I can straddle that and walk down the cliff face or whatever and keep this from being banged around and jostling him. And once I get down to the ground, I got it now. To save your back, I want you to know, uh, if you're the only one there to lower this, don't, don't hurt yourself doing this. Hold on to these two straps here. Get your arms in towards your side. Don't bend your back. Very slowly. Straddle this thing. It'll go down below. Okay. Quite safe to do. But don't put the weight on your back. Put it on your legs and on your arms. Okay. So I think that pretty well covers the uh, uh, basic stuff. Now if you want, we can go up on the tower. We'll do a couple of uh, uh, lowerings. We'll do it in this position. And uh, then we'll do it uh, in the horizontal position. I mean, and vertical. And then if we have enough time, we have a long rope. So these high speed ropes. Slide it over to the edge. Uh, don't slide it here, but we want to keep it in line like this. So bring it up this way. Now, make sure all the straps are tight. 